Hi, I'm Joe Alexander Short. And I'm Robert Biscacci. We're two graduating university students who were recently given a grant to spend a month shooting a short promotional documentary in Myanmar, also known as Burma. Myanmar is a beautiful but politically conflicted country in Southeast Asia, one of the latest to open its borders to international trade. Its economy is supposed to quadruple in size in the next 15 years, creating 10 million non-farming jobs for a population that is mostly untrained for the changes taking place. Our focus was on the work of the Deus Al Christian Brothers, a Catholic congregation that has served the country's youth for over 150 years. Today in Yangon, Myanmar, the brothers and their Italian colleagues run a training center for English and computer literacy, providing quality education at a low cost to students from the city and from far-reaching rural areas. We spent most of our time with a small group of students from the center who live with the brothers as boarders. It is especially to teach the young people who uh, are in need of our help. Financially poor, I would say. Uh, in my village, I have only radio. So the best way to communicate with, with the world is just a radio. But there has no electricity, and <coughs> no vehicle, and nothing. They go around and uh, looking for some jobs, but then they were asked, do you speak English? Do you know how to use computer? They know that something is missing in their life. I want to earn money and I want to support to my family and to my younger brothers. That's the reason. You need to study this for future employment. This is a requirement. It's very important to know everything in English first. So not only in the school work, they can also read from the internet. It's not only enough to teach only English, but also we have to try more. It means that teaching the young people in manners and morality, critical thinking. How we choose to live our future, it depends on us. We have to choose, we have to make, make decisions uh, decide who we are. If they don't think, they will be, people will think for them. So I just want them to think about themselves, depend on themselves, and then just make yourself free. One of the most important things that the brothers were able to do is they let us become and find out who we are, who we want to be. We were sitting in a chair, like a, a circle in the chapel, and the first time we did a discussion or reflection group, see what you think about it, uh, what your insights. I was like, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say, because nobody have ever asked me what I think. I started to uh, pray a lot and do meditation a lot. And I, I mean, really, who am I? What do I want? Uh, I started to ask big questions. Why am I here? Did I see God today? Where did I see him? In the classroom, on the street, on the bus. Uh, the brothers are very down to earth. And the teachers, as their leader brothers. Most of the teaching uh, system is teacher-centered. Uh, there is no debate, no uh, critical thinking. No questions. Just try to memorize this. That's all. It's memorizing. Everything is memorizing. But here, our strategy is student-centered. I attend the the course uh, three months and I quit for three months and I work, I help to my family. And after three months, I came here to study again. Uh, let the, I give them an assignment. They are doing that with all full concentration. They are doing it because my students are so innocent and honest and respectful and hardworking and they are teaching me those 
values? This time I have been studying English for two years. Two years and six months. <laughs> there are many young people who can speak good English, but they have no business knowledge. In October 2013, the brothers launched a nine-month business program. The program charges students only 500 U.S. dollars, where comparable programs charge up to 2,000. The program is in conjunction with three Lasallian universities in the Philippines, who are sending professors to teach selected subjects from finance to marketing. If we don't start this type of program for the poor, it means the poor never become managers. Yeah, because, you know, well, without occupation, we can do nothing. Yeah, it is very clear. Uh, there is no need to doubt. Occupation is the key of our, the key to open our mind, to open our knowledge. Without education, we can do nothing. Gordon recently enrolled in the business management program and is moving towards his goal of becoming a tour guide. Albert's currently living with his family, but has plans to return to continue studying at the LaSalle Center. It was difficult to leave our new friends, but we're grateful for how they touched our lives and we're confident that their silent education has prepared them to embrace opportunities in a developing Myanmar. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful.